Hey everybody, so in today's video I wanted to take a look at construction geometry uh, you'll find automatically created from uh, within Bobcad uh, to help with your general layouts and designs. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, to begin with, you can turn the construction geometry and XY tracking on by utilizing this icon right down here. Uh, if you press it uh, and it's not highlighted, it's turned off. If you press it again, it is highlighted and it's turned on. So that's how you can turn the construction geometry on or off. Now, where you're going to find this beneficial is when you're creating your geometry. So as an example, I'm going to work on creating a point here. And you'll notice as I wake up any of the geometry that's on the screen, I'm getting uh, construction geometry that is displayed. So you can see this line here would be perpendicular uh, to that point. Uh, this line here would be horizontal. The other thing you'll notice is as I move the mouse around, um, this is part of the XY tracking, you'll see how I'm able to pick up locations based off of that. So again, depending on what it is that you're drawing, you can utilize this XY tracking or construction geometry to aid in your sketches or the creation of your geometry. So, you know, as an example, as I uh, scroll along through here, you can see any of the endpoints that line up with this point uh, will show up as construction geometry. Uh, you'll find this available for all of the sketching tools. Uh, some may be uh, a little more uh, convenient than others. You know, again, if I click on this line here, I can generate a uh, perpendicular uh, line without having to draw a perpendicular point. Okay, so you can see how I could. Uh, sketch that position up, you know, same thing over here. If I pick on this one, you know, I can wake up this geometry and then I can get a perpendicular uh, line to it. Uh, in addition, if you're doing like parallel lines, a lot of times you'll select a line and, and you can go either side as such uh, with your parallel lines. OK, uh, if you come in here with your line continuous and, and you wake up a piece of geometry. Let's go ahead and uh, move along here. If I want this line to become parallel to that one, I can click uh, or just hover over that line and now this becomes, uh, this construction line is parallel uh, to the line that I selected. So I recommend you uh, work with the construction geometry, uh, explore it and see where it benefits you best.